All right, inside my 2016 Odyssey, and we got the tire pressure light on. So we're gonna address that issue right now. Um, if you check right next to your door, okay, inside, it'll tell you the actual pressure you need. It says uh, cold tire pressure, 33 PSI. Yeah, that's what we're gonna check right now. All right, so we got one of these uh, tire pressure checker. It's a dollar. You can get it from Walmart. And let's see where we at. But it's not even at 30, so the pressure should be between 30 to 35. Um, it says over here 33. So I'm gonna bring it to a gas station and um, pump some air in here, and then uh, we'll adjust it and check. Make sure we're in the proper uh, tire pressure. All right. All right, guys. So I'm at the gas station. Just pumping some air in here. See? Um, I did all the tires. About 35. And then uh, I'm going to use my gauge just to adjust them to 33. All right. It's kind of hard to do it with uh, one hand to pump it and show you guys. But this is how it looks like right here. Okay gauge will pop up as well I'll tell you how much uh, the PSI is so it's pretty good I mean nowadays I think it's like a buck 75 the cord is in this damn machine and uh, it gives you five minutes and boom done just gonna check it out real quick Let's see where we at what's that gauge say uh, it looks like 36 so I'm gonna deflate this And then we'll check again. All right, we're at 35 right now. Okay, so a couple of things, man. Just make sure you double check your tires, and it'll tell you in the tires not to. Uh, go over 40 I mean in my particular tire it does tell me that all right even tell you the, the max press this is 44 psi so um, I know for this one you don't want to go over 40 psi don't over inflate the sucker so just keep that in mind when you're pumping air in your tire this one's at uh, let's see at 30 38 so I gotta deflate it and make sure I'm at around 33 to 35 psi and then that's it all right all right i'm back inside the car and we still got that tire indicator light so i'm just gonna shut off the car and then uh we'll see if it goes away and it's still there so I might have to probably just drive the car around until the sensors kick in and then shut the car back off and turn it back on. All right. All right, guys, so I'm driving right now and boom, the actual uh, light, the tire pressure indicator just disappeared. So yeah, so that's all you gotta do is drive around the car and uh, bam, fix that issue. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.